And what's up guys, it's Stu TV, dropping another video for you. And in today's video, we are going to be breaking down how much does it cost to make 700 horsepower in an Audi A3? So just so you know, I hope I don't forget anything, but I have not prepared for this video whatsoever. I'm doing it on my own right now. So basically to start it off, you obviously need to have a built motor. Built motors are crazy. The amount of things you need, the price and the labor, it can get a little overwhelming. But as I always say, don't get overwhelmed. You don't have to build it right away. You can do it slowly and you can be financially smart while still having a hot boy car. Now I'm basically just filming this video. So I have a reference guide in the future if I decide to ever build my car. Now you can either decide to go through these things yourself or hire someone to build the motor for you. Obviously due to the labor and extensive building work that is gonna be needed, you either do it yourself or you hire someone. Doing it yourself obviously being the cheaper option and hiring someone being the more expensive one. Some people aren't mechanically inclined to do it themselves. Some people would rather just hire someone and not deal with it. Now hiring someone to do it is probably gonna cost you somewhere in the ballpark range of $20,000. Now again, the list of things you're gonna need to build the motor can be very extensive. I'm not gonna go through it all here today because I might not know everything you need, but I know it's a lot. Piston, rods, rod bearings, you need gaskets, sealants, head studs, maybe a better oil pickup. Maybe if you're going for that much power, you need to be sleeved, etc. The whole motor thing is mind boggling, but let's forget that for now. Let's get into the fun stuff here, power mod. All right, so let's say you just went to the dealership. You just picked yourself up a brand new 2020 Audi A3. It comes equipped with a 2.0 TFSI EH Triple H Gen 3. It's paired up to a 7-speed DSG with the weakest clutches out of the bunch, referring to the Audi S3's trans, a DQ500 that's in the RS3. Now, if you're going anywhere above 550 horsepower, I highly recommend upgrading your OEM clutches. That can cost anywhere from $765 to $3,600. It depends on what you go with. But back to what I was saying, the EA Triple Eight is paired with an IS20 turbo, pushing the car to an outstanding 184 to 228 horsepower power to the crank. That's fast. I'm just kidding. That's slow as hell. That's why we're making this video. Now, obviously, if we're talking about adding horsepower, one of the first things you're going to look at is the turbo. The IS-20 is extremely undersized and you can't make a whole lot of power out of it. You could obviously upgrade the S3 or Golf R turbo, the IS-38, which I have in my vehicle, but you're really only going to make 400 horsepower out of that at most. But if the IS-38 is still too small for you, you can upgrade to the Vortex standard. It's a turbo made by Equilibrium Tuning or EQT Tuning. It'll run you just under two grand and it seems like the max power output of this thing is 447 wheel horsepower. That's a lot better than 228 crank. Now, if that's still way too slow for you, you could upgrade to the Vortex XL. It says here on EQT site that if you're running the Vortex XL with full E85, you're going to make around 609 wheel horsepower. That one's going to run you a couple more hundred dollars in the standard, but it's also going to net you a couple hundred more horsepower than the standard. Now, personally, I've been setting my eyes on this turbo, the TPC38. It's a hybrid turbo version of the IS38. This turbo mounted up with the correct supporting mod can net you around 500 wheel horsepower. And I have personally seen people running the TPC38 MPI full E85 with all of the other supporting mods, such as an RS3's brushless low pressure fuel pump with no modification to the motor or clutches. So that is 500 wheel horsepower, stock motor, stock transmission, just tunes. Now let's forget all that stuff that we just talked about. We're here to figure out how much it takes and what mods it takes to reach 700 wheel horsepower in an Audi A3. This turbo right here is what you are gonna need for that. It's a turbo V3 made by CTS and it's called the Boss 700 Turbo Kit. It's a Gen 2 3076 dual ball bearing reverse rotation CHRA capable of 700 horsepower obviously depending on fueling and engine modification and even better it is direct bolt-on. No modification is required to the car which if we're trying to build our car for 700 horsepower we're trying to nickel and dime everything. And since there is no modification needed this can be a cheap route but I'll be honest cheap ain't the word for this turbo. $2,000 $700. So we have the big thing out of the way, the turbo. So we need the rest of the supporting mods to go with this. So if we're going with that CTS Boss Turbo, we're probably going to get a CTS intake. So we're saving a little money here and there by not trying to make another intake fit. That intake is going to run you anywhere from three to $500. After the intake, we have to look at an exhaust. And honestly, the best option if you're trying to make the best time down the track is either chop off your exhaust or take it off. A straight dump pipe might be loud, but it's lighter and I think it's cool. 
That way, instead of purchasing a $2,000 exhaust for the car, we could just free bomb it and not put one on. That's saving us a crap ton of money. Next up, obviously, we're gonna need a pretty sizable intercooler to support how much air we're sucking in and out of the system. Now that we have everything dealing with induction out of the way, we can move on to the next coolest part, fueling. Obviously, you're gonna wanna upgrade that high pressure fuel pump. That's gonna run about 500 bucks. And then you're gonna wanna scoot over to the low pressure fuel pump. Now, if we wanna support 700 horsepower, we're gonna snag that RS3 brushless low pressure fuel pump, and that should easily support 700 horsepower. Obviously, depending on which one you get, should run you from $1,500 to two grand, which is insane because that's about how much the turbo costs. And then the next thing, which I plan on getting for my car sooner or later, is an Audi EA AAA MPI kit, obviously with flex fuel capabilities. We're gonna acquire the kit that has 1,300 cc injectors, and that's gonna run us 1,250 bucks. Okay, and now that we have the fueling out of the way, we wanna move on to things that will help us put the power down. Now, these might not be horsepower adders, but it gets rid of parasitic power loss, which basically means if your car isn't built to put the power down, you lose it. So we're gonna pick up the H&R Super Sport lowering springs. That should be around $300, if I'm remembering correctly. And since the Audi A3s don't have mag ride, we don't have to purchase mag ride deletes. I believe you can still run mag ride if you have lowering springs, but not if you have coilovers or bags. Now we need a wheel of your choice, preferably something light and a good set of tires. And last but not least, tuning. Now you wanna go with someone reliable, someone who's gonna answer quickly, not sneaky, and someone who is capable of tuning a high horsepower A3. So for this analogy, we're gonna go with UM. United Motorsports is highly capable of tuning a high horsepower car such as this, but it definitely comes at a price. A tune like this is gonna run us just under three grand, holy shit. And for their stage three DSG tune, it's probably gonna run us somewhere around thousand dollars. So obviously this is rather expensive, but spend a lot of money to do fast things. And some honorable mentions, guys, I would definitely consider gutting the car. And this is definitely gonna get down the track and boogie. So I would consider getting a half cage, a seat that's gonna hold you in place, and definitely, definitely get a helmet and a fire extinguisher. Definitely a fire extinguisher. But that is gonna be the end of the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. This is the first time I tried to do a video like this. If you guys like videos like this, tell me in the comment section what car you wanna see next. But peace out, guys. Have a good day. And as always, don't get overwhelmed.